What's up, everybody? Welcome to the new Elevated Talk at Moment. And I have with me today one of my favorite people. I don't think he actually knows how I adore him. And this was very important for me because, um, you know, I, I look at him and I just love how bold, how endearing and how, you know, there's literally no, he's, there's no filter with this guest of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, make way for Annie Alua. <gasps> So I have to like what take it all in because you? you know. <laughs> Give me five, mate. How are you, babe? Uh, I'm good. You look stunning, and I'm in elevated, guys. I've watched you talking, Mike, about since I was in the university. So yeah. you know, like talking moments. I used to watch you on YouTube every time. So oh full circle moment. <laughs> it's just like let me take it all in, but now I'm giving you energy. Yes. I'm like, come on, I'm here. Oh, mm. and I love the fact that you made out time to come. Nice yeah. of you to be my guest. No, but sorry, can you call me? And I wouldn't call. Excuse me. Do I you mean, know? Do you know who you are? <laughs> you are the. You know there are some people the that you have to put the yeah. in front of them. You know, the, enough, you know that's how my WhatsApp is actually is the token marking one. No, but of course that's when you've reached, when you've reached a particular status, that's, that's yeah. how you change. Yeah, I mean years and years and years of hard work of hard work went into yeah. it, but we're finally here and yeah. we're thankful. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that you mentioned that you used to watch me from when you were in uni because yeah. you are a Gen Z. I'm a millennial. Yeah, I'm a proud millennial. Yeah, and you are. a Gen Z. Yeah. I'm a young boy. <laughs> young, flourishing boy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'll tell you one of the things I love about you, Any. Yeah. I love how bold you are. Mm. You know, I think that you've, and I'm not saying this just, no, this is no cap. Yeah. You have literally inspired so many young people to live in their truth and to be authentic in who they are yeah. with, without any airs or caring about what people say. say. And we live in the jungle. Mm. You know what I mean? Living in Nigeria is yes. very... People are very judgmental. It's a very hypocritical society. But then there's this boy who is going to slap on his lip gloss and let you know he's a beauty boy. And Ennis Coins. <laughs> I'm the successful I'm while successful. doing it. Yes, yes, <laughs> Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. Another I don't one. give a shit about yeah. what anyone yeah. thinks. Yeah. And one of the things I like about you is you're very open about even talking about relationships, which we'll get yeah. into much later yes. on. Are you dating? No, about me situationships. Thank you very much. Which, is, <laughs> which, which I advise that you do if you, you are very to? confused. You, I, I say that you need to test waters. Let me just tell you people now. When we're talking about relationships, when we get there, but mm. we test waters. Mm. That's, that's the most important. Yeah, before we, I, I know everyone yeah. can't wait to understand what, because what I, what I understand that situationship coming from a millennial yeah. is a damn crazy web. And it's full of confusion. Now, you've been out to play your games perfectly. Oh, my God. There's a rule book, TM. There's a rule book. Already. Let me just tell you now, there's a rule book. I need to get into that rule book. If you miss a step, you've missed it all. Oh, my God. So, we'll talk about the rule yeah. book. But let's talk about what it's like being, you know, existing in this space. In this space. And being a Gen Z. Like, there's always this back and forth argument with millennials and Gen yeah. Zs. Because we, we kind of think you guys, I wouldn't use the word badly behaved but I'll, use word, I'll tell you I'll tell you what I mean I feel like Oops. a lot of Gen Z people are a part of this work culture yeah in mm. commas work culture whatever that means and sometimes I feel like the lines between what work actually means is very blurred. Yeah. People tend to be very rude and obnoxious and say, say because, because I'm work. work. Yes. Work oh, that's... Generation. Uh. You know, we're just reading a thread online about, you know, the Gen Z's made me laugh so much. Yeah. Uh, where someone said that he got home and, you know, his cousin had quit her job and he's like, why are you home? Like, this is like the fourth job she had gotten in like a space of two months. Yeah. Why are you home? And she says, oh, it was giving shackles. Shackles. <laughs> shackles off my feet so I, I, I can dance. dance. Let's go. I no, but, but, but really, but really, if, if things are giving shackles, please leave. You know, I quit it. What I quit does that mean? Because I quit a job once okay. because I was having bad dreams consistently. <laughs> <laughs> I had the, oh Jesus, I hope you are watching this and you think about how terrible, don't let me, don't let me recall. But like I had the best CEOs, but I had you said one. That. I'm joking on my no, perfume. By the I'm way. never joking. I knew that I wanted to leave. Listen, and mm -hmm. take me back. back. No, I knew I wanted to leave this place. 
I want the yeah, I just Okay, so like, wh- wh- what was the bad dreams? You, you had a, a really bad She was daughter. chasing me in my dream. <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment I knew. See, I don't even say it that I, I was in I was even in a relationship at that time. I was telling my partner that I'm oh dying. I need to leave this. I need to leave this work. So yeah. I to leave this. Like, no, stay, stay, you can still try. Like mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't care. Like <laughs> it's it's becoming very toxic for me. <laughs> oh my god. And and at a particular like one day. I could not sleep. You know, at 2 a.m., you just, you're not in peace of mind. You're just suffering. Like 2 a.m., you're moving around. Then, then this particular, that same night, there was someone chasing me. I said, God forbid that. How did you quit the job? Did you I go just into text quit? her on WhatsApp. <laughs> Jess! <laughs> okay, that's the Jesse. But no. You see what I, I mean by you I, guys? I, I, no, I later submitted it later. But well, first, I first. WhatsApp? No, because I needed the HR to name me to that. Thank you very much. This is the end. This, I've come to the end. Of this well, you process. see, you see what I mean but, by bad behavior. Yeah, the WhatsApp. Let's admit that was kind of trashy. How are you gonna? No, quit but the they job? employed me through WhatsApp. So. <laughs> 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 no, like work. No, work cultures. Okay, come on. I get it. I'm not for. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not letting anyone get enslaved, and I'm yeah. not for telling people. Yeah. you know, to slog it out. But the problem I have with that in this scenario that you've given to me is you're very smart. You came yeah. out of first class. You know, yeah. and. It's worked for you. Yeah. But there are certain people who believe that, you know, writing it out is also a bad idea. If I tell you how I started, yeah, yeah, um, I've worked, I worked in a bank, for instance, mm-hmm. and I was picked on almost every NPR meeting because they knew I wasn't supposed to be there. You know, right. but, you know back home, your parents are just like, get this job. If you're not a doctor or a lawyer or a yeah. this, then they don't think that you actually have a profession. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then when I started working at this, I worked in two but banks. But until you have money. And you just start making money at that thing. Yeah, and then they think yes. that you've hammered. And yes. then for me, it was one of the most... I know about having nightmares. I didn't mm-hmm. see someone chasing me in my dream, <laughs> but I would hate going to work in the morning because yes. I just felt like I did not belong there. Mm. I'm for that. But what I find interesting is there's so many people who believe that this is not what I like, I drop. This is not what I like, I drop. This is not... So what exactly are you going to give time to? Because you do know that it's what you give time to That's that developed. waters and which, ends up which being I, something. Which I, which I agree. But okay. if you're a young person, for example, I left university at 19. Mm-hmm. I'm, Age was on your side. Yes. and But that's what makes me a young person. So Age okay. is always on your side. Oh, my God. Right. Fair. <laughs> I mean, I had 25 years in university and I would yeah. come out of the university. Yeah. The, I, I told myself that we don't have that window thing that they're doing abroad and you have one year to test what mm-hmm. has. So I told mm-hmm. myself I was coming out. Mm-hmm. Maybe in two years, I'll be testing different things. So mm-hmm. I, I tried a particular job. I did for one month. I left. I tried another job. <laughs> did it for like, what is your CV like? I'd like to see what it's like. Oh, uh, I'm very expensive, very <laughs> nourished, very... The, the boy is a brilliant kid. <laughs> I mean, your job experiences will yeah, be very, yeah, very yeah. interesting. Just, but you know, like, when after master, I didn't really do so much anymore because, mm-hmm. but that period, that one year period, oh, you'll be seen, moved, moved, moved. Because I'm just like, I'm testing. It's not yeah. like I don't know what I want. Yeah. But I'm t- as much as I know what I want, I don't want to be stuck at a place. You, you can, like I said, you can't know how pineapple, if pineapple is sweeter than orange, if you've not True. tasted orange. True. So you just be in one place, suffering, dying, killing yourself. And you just find out that ah, there's another place for me that is mm-hmm. good for me. Mm-hmm. And you cannot know unless you test. I, and so, I, I'm with you on that. I like the fact that you gave yourself the opportunity to mm-hmm. grow. Some people take a year off, which is fine. But my issue with your generation is mm-hmm. a lot of people think that I'm just going to test this. If it doesn't work out, I'll quit. It's that quick part that I have a problem no, but with. But at the, I think also at a point, you should know when you're, you're, <laughs> you're overdose me. Yeah, this one is overdose. You should know yeah. when it's overdose. Like, no, there's there's a point, I know a lot of people use it as an excuse and that's mm-hmm. the part I don't like, I don't mm-hmm. agree with. Especially, like, I know a lot of young people use it as an excuse and they're like, you quit this and you're like, oh, it's because you give me, no, this point, you are the problem mm-hmm. because you cannot jump to five in five, five one jobs. year and they're yeah. saying, oh, yeah. every, no, there has to be. Yeah. Like, and, you, and then, and then I'm, I'm off the, I'm, this is me, if you feel mm-hmm. like you're not ready to work, yeah. Then take that time off to find out because I understand I'm not even judging right now. Yeah. A lot of us I I'm learning from what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Maybe back then I wish we were bolder. But I don't also despise my days of sewing because those days I think is what you. made me who I am today. Mm. And if I had quit at every time there was some form of 
oh, I don't like this place. This boss doesn't like me. They're talking about me here. I don't find myself productive here. Yeah, when will you learn long-suffering? When will you learn? And, uh, yeah. Why would you put it as long-suffering? Anyway? <laughs> That's not what I'm Fruits calling it. Fruits of the it. spirit. <laughs> Love, kindness, meekness, long-suffering. Don't look at it as long-suffering. Even the good old book says, do not despise your days of humble beginnings. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. And I'm not yes, trying to friend. sugarcoat suffering because yeah. I remember one time, I think I shared this on Twitter that, um, this generation, because I was I was in the process of hiring and just talking to people, you could tell that they didn't share the same vision because they are just some people want the end product even at the beginning. beginning. And I, I feel like it's that. some of the pressure that comes social with media. social media yes. that also makes these people think that they just want to be the next NEO. Yes. They just want to be the this. But even as any jumped from different places in that one year and he also has his days of humble, humble beginnings, beginnings yes, where he's like you know yes. what I mean when, when I also in Lagos when I jumped buses guys because I mean I didn't grow up in Lagos mm-hmm. so where did you grow up? I grew up in Accra oh really? Uh, yes I'm from Mundo State oh come on but Are I'm you from, from no, I'm from AQT. Oh, yeah, when we I, used to be together. Yeah, so we, yeah, yeah. So we still yeah. have like this shushim. Who are you but, doing this to? Am I your No, mate? no, no. That's Did not, you try to no, it's not, fly around? Oh, no. It's that's not, the millennial let me, let me talking. Tell you, but, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no fist bump. Let me tell you what I'm doing. Okay. You, do, you bring like, your finger. Uh, yeah. yeah, I get it. Oh, okay, I get yeah. it. I get it. I get it. But yeah. Okay, so for the Aquarian boy. Sorry, I don't worry. Try out this conversation. Oh, no, no, no. I just did that. I did that to just shake you up a little bit. Like, dude, just, I'm cool. Yes, ma'am. that serious. Yes, ma'am. Don't say yes, ma'am. Don't make you crazy. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so I came to Lagos, mm-hmm. and my, my family really. You know, I always tell people that if I stayed in a place where my family grew up, mm-hmm. because I found like my parents are comfortable people. Yeah, it's easier for me there because I know at least even God, God forbid, if something happens to my parents, we are friends. Mm-hmm. But when I came to Lagos, it was just Jesus is Lord. I hope Yes, it was like crazy. <laughs> Where is this place? What is this? And so, you know, I went through like the face of maybe hustling, like working out every day. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very confusing. At first, for a week, I didn't have anything that I was coming to do in Lagos, but mm-hmm. I told my parents that one PR firm had allowed me to. Because I knew. <laughs> yeah. Wait, my parents, now that I think about it, my parents probably looked at me and said, this young boy, what are you going to go and do? And they were probably very scared. Mm-hmm. And I said, like, I had this very dramatic response. Like, you know, that Sunday afternoon, rain was falling and my parents were saying bye. Oh. And we went to church in the morning. And, you know, they put my boxes in, in a car. chartered car. And, like, we're just like... <sighs> because I was probably the first person even among my siblings to mm-hmm. leave. And so... It was a very like round emotional moment for me. I think I finished school Friday. Mm-hmm. That's when I was like, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Kitty. I cannot stay here. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure there's any, like as much as I respect the people here and mm-hmm. what they do, the entertainment industry won't blossom in this place. Mm-hmm. And so I told them I was coming to work in a pair of firm that they had employed me as an intern, mm-hmm. which I had not gotten any feedback. But I was <laughs> but faith. But faith. You just shall leave faith, by faith. faith. And also, so, I mean, I, I once immediately, I just got there yeah. and I left. I left the house and you no, know, my parents gave so me. So, where were you going was, to stay in Lagos? That's even very. See, let me just you. Okay, then that week, I came in. The, my friend and I were two mm-hmm. that we went to the same university together mm-hmm. and we knew that ah, we had to come at us with this life. Yeah. And so when we came, we volunteered with one organization, like one festival. Funny enough, my name was never on, on the list, mm-hmm. but my friends wrote my name. That woman I came and said, Oh, is it, are you people sure his name? You know how Lagos people talk yeah. now. It was in the career. <laughs> are you sure this boy's name is on the list? Like, yes, yes. If I check <laughs> and I find, like, I was so scared because I, I didn't even know anything. Yeah. Like, that Sunday, that's mm-hmm. when I went there immediately. Mm-hmm. They, once I came, like, I think I got here in the afternoon. Yeah. And, like, that evening, I went to that volunteering place. Mm-hmm. And then I tried and volunteered. And that time, but that one week, I was living somewhere inside Fagba. I don't even know if you I know I think I know. That's in Yaba, right? No. Where is Inside Sabah? Ogba. Okay, sorry. Yes. Yeah. There's now one street. You now go down. <laughs> 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 yeah. I used to take the last bus mm-hmm. from... Fagba. From Lagos Lake. Island. Okay. When you're going back. Because you used to finish the volunteering around mm-hmm. 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. And I go... Last... Do you know? Like, and it was very scary. Me that my parents were pampered. How old were you at Nineteen, nineteen. Took me to Preston, and even I don't know what it was at the age at that point. I had not had that kind of exposure of mm-hmm. like entry, but it was cre- one time. I didn't even know they used to run like <laughs> run inside. You have to jump inside. No, if the bus goes, it goes. And the then the, 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 when what was your experience like watching those conductors be so? Do you know? Style? Even one time, I almost injured myself. Like I, the man was like four, four. I'm like four, <laughs> four, four, four. I'm like, hey, this one, are you? Oh no, but I jumped. I I don't think like my experiences has 
terrible. terrible. Um, I don't, yeah. I'm not trying to glorify I, like... I, I, uh, I kind of call them adventurous stuff. That, yes. you know, and, and I think it's part of what, you know, when you leave home um, with no idea, it's very brave, which is what I mean by your, yeah. your the Gen Z And I think it's important for people world. to be brave. I, I like that about you guys. Yes. I like the fact that, you know, where we would have to think, before I left the banking industry, it was, it was tough. My siblings had a meeting and said to me, we know you're not happy here. My first radio job was when I was 19, when I was your age, actually. Wow. And um, it, it was short-lived because my mom had me on the radio one day and was like, that's it, go to university, go and do this, go and, you know. Oh, yeah, not was, gone to uni. Uh, yeah, I was literally just about to get into uni. Oh, right. Yes, actually. Yeah. But, but I think that's good. I was literally Maybe just about to get into uni. uni and I had some time to kill some heard my voice somewhere and it's like oh you know I think that you'd be perfect for this and then I think I maybe I was in first year already I don't even remember yeah. but when, by the time I was in uni I always used to hear Unilag radio and I wanted to go back and work there so my <laughs> my first um encounter on, on working on radio was great but obviously the fear from family finding out and yeah. you know I was a black sheep I I, I literally tested my folks do you know what I mean I, mm. I wasn't easy to raise yeah. so like you I'm very adventurous as well I've done certain things so yeah. I think that's probably what I recognize in you guys I think another thing that I'm, I'm really excited about your generation is the fact that you guys just don't know how to take no for an answer, an answer. do you know what I mean you yes. guys are very Bold heavy on the creative yes, yes. you know if one way it doesn't work and where you stuck on doing certain things you guys always want to get yourself you know yourselves heard which yeah. is great you know but i also worry about the fact that things are moving so fast any <sighs> i worry about the fact that things are moving so so you know so, as, I, so I, I, I think as, as much as i'm like gen z and i'm young yeah. there are some things that i also like take a post and say <gasps> Ooh, that one was a little bit too much. Too much. <laughs> no. I was saying to someone recently, yeah. I'll just tell you this for um for context. Um, my first Birkin bag was when I was probably 32. You have a Birkin bag. Come on. <laughs> well, probably when I was 32, any. It's still and a Birkin. I'd left my marriage when I was 30, hustled a little bit. 32, I'm so sure, was when I first bought, and I know the color I first bought was blue. Shout out to Remy Fagbun for sourcing that out. I see young Gen Z girls one team today back. at 21, you know, wanting to live that life, which there's nothing wrong with. But I'm like, sis, I wore Zara. I wore Bali. I wore, that's, at some point in my life, Topshop was way too expensive for me. I think H&M. you're going to say I wore Shomule. I wore Yaba. <laughs> <laughs> I wore Lagos Island. <laughs> no, but uh, you get the drift. Yes, New I get what look, you're saying. Like yes. River Island. I mean, the then, difference. Then, so to my worries, then if you as a, 21, you're already like, you know, if it's not Birkin, is this, then what are you going to do when you're 30? I, th- I think when, when it becomes a problem is when you want someone else to provide it for you and you put that pressure True. on the other person. True. I think the advent of social media, for example, like, I'm not even going to lie. And I think that's what makes the difference between a lot of young people and older people. Some of the money that has been thrown at us mm-hmm. because, like, you and you know how much people charge for yeah. Instagram yeah. posts. Yeah, as creative, you make more money. So It so, is insane thank sometimes. Thank you for educating me, actually. So, so if, if, there are, there are some of these girls that charge two million euro for an Instagram post. Yeah. Of course, they can afford some to bags do, that yeah. are very expensive. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not like they have so many responsibilities anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the same way I can decide. Some of my friends think it's very expensive. And I agree. As much as I'm investing, sometimes I can decide to splurge on a suit that is very expensive because yeah. I can afford to. It's not like yeah. I have a child I'm thinking yeah. of taking care of. Yeah. Or, you yeah. know, so yeah. some of them. I think when it becomes very obsessive is when you place mm. that pressure on another mm. person and you're trying to make, oh, all my friends are buying Birkins. Mm. All my friends are driving Benz. Mm-hmm. Why can't you get me a Benz? Mm-hmm. No, not, bro, you need to chill because yeah. there will be time for that. And, you're I, going to and, and, and I don't even together. worry about the people who can afford it, as yeah. you say. I worry about the people who see that as a standard because mm. what comes with this fast generation is everybody wants to be the next any mm. the young boy out there who is watching you with your bleach to love you but that's how thinking to himself I want to be this guy but doesn't understand the process Best, are you so that guy is going to think this job is giving me shackles I quit that job is giving me shackles I quit and, you know, and all I have in my head is a poster of Eniolua who I Eniolua is what's he going to say to this period pool bag <laughs> he ain't going to take this he ain't going to take I mean? this but then who's going to feed who's going to pay your bills when he's yes. going to pay those bills yes. and I feel like it, it adds so much pressure and anxiety so you find a lot of young people who are in my DMs and they're so anxious sure. And I'm like... No, I, I say to you, I say to a lot of young people, I, I mean, I don't want to be that fatherly advice or yeah. anything. Yeah. But like I said to a lot of young people, think about it. Social media, for example, as you're seeing influencers, probably like 100. It's just the one in your face. Yeah. They're over... 
there are millions of people yeah. in this country, and it's controlled content. Yes, as well. exactly. We have like, I'm not going days. to. I'm not going to post my shaku bag <laughs> because I don't want you to see it. It doesn't mean I don't have that. Yes. Do you, yeah. Yeah. Like obviously, I'm going to wear Tommy figure here yeah, because yes. I want you to feel like, oh, this is the certain it brand. It looks dope, person. by the way. Yeah. I mean. It's, so, yeah, everything expensive, <laughs> everything nah, nice. Everything nah. nice. But you know, that's the brand perception I want to place in yes, your mind. Yes. But it doesn't mean that when I'm at home, it's Tommy Figa, I'm using it to mm-hmm. clean. Like, mm-hmm. obviously, you too, you have nice clothes. And I say, don't pressure yourself too much. At the end of the day, even the pressure that you think you're pressuring, you mean to, I'm very scared. Mm-hmm. Because number one, I'm thinking about the fact that one day you will be chairman KPMG, and me, I'll be <laughs> dancing on TikTok. <laughs> Get it, <to> do that. <laughs> Get it, <to> do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's wild. Or oh, oh, they'll be calling you for commencement <laughs> speech and Harvard yeah. and, uh, and, and um, um, the badge is telling me to come and promote his new song <laughs> like <laughs> me okay, also... but, but I want to ask you this why do you think that a lot of people are leaning towards the creative space more because I I told you I was trying to hire. Yeah. And then in hiring people, you find out that they really think white collar jobs are overrated. Yeah. Every young person you meet today, when did you start finish school? 2019. Yeah. What have we been doing since then? My own thing. What is my own thing? What is the my own thing? Who's... What is my own thing? Exactly. Mm. Um, I have a flair for writing. <laughs> I'm like, okay. How many successful writers are there? Really? Listen, I, I actually admire the gods. I think the fear of poverty in our time would have made us say, yes. oh, Mo, let me just rock, rough it out and do this and do that until, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In my time, people didn't necessarily just wake up and quit their jobs unless they had another job mm, waiting. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But then now I find a lot of young people just going with the flow. It's giving shackles. Bye. <laughs> I'm not doing yeah, this. I'm, and I don't advise people to do that feeling. Really. I don't I don't think it's a sane, like as much as I understand that if something is getting you depressed, mm-hmm. I don't want you to die. Of leave. Course, but I don't of think like some of well, these who things... has ever died from hard work? It's a broad question, but I'm asking. No, but I think there are people who have died from depression that came from hard work and anxiety that um, came from it. Okay. But I know that it's also very outspoken. I mean, the numbers you know, are our lower. parents' generation. Yeah, they we say, say Ayo like, Kilo, Kilo, Yes. Ayo Julo, Do you But then I, was, I obviously know that there is a line because even half of our parents, a lot of them were depressed but probably didn't know the outlets to put it out. Yeah. You find fathers who have had to work all their life and we wonder why they're not affectionate and we're thinking in our mind, you know, there's no room for that. This and which is something I like and... about Gen Z now. Mm-hmm. That's very important. I said I had a lot of uncles and, you know, people, uh, you could tell that this person is not happy with life. They, they're just, <laughs> they're just depressed. That's the shackles. <laughs> That's the real. And I cannot afford oh to live a life, God yeah. forbid, but I agree. I agree. That I would wake up at 40 something and I'll just be like, good morning. Uh, no, I'm going to be I'm going to be joyful. It is by force, by I anything. Agree. And anything that takes it without joy, I'm mm. peace in my life. I can't, I know we should waste time. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why I wanted you as a guest. Yeah. I was watching this video. Um, we're, we're planning for the podcast and I was watching this video you were doing online and you're talking about energy. Yeah. If you call me, you don't pick up call, I return the energy. If you do this, yeah. you don't do that. Now, I was about to jump into that part of your life. But before yeah. I do that, it's also important to also sort of tell you that let's leave age out of it. Like, I understand mm-hmm. you don't want to wake up 40 and be unhappy. Yeah. But guess what? Life begins for some people at 40, at 50, at 60. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let's just enjoy every moment we're in. But enjoy this moment. But don't live in the moment that makes you regret the future. So because now you've done a lot of things that you think could help your future. At the end of the day, money is good though. Mm-hmm. But... You know, people, I say this thing. People in the kitty don't know what, um, <laughs> what's this chocolate spread that we use on bread? Um, Nutella. Um, Nutella. They don't, yeah. they're not thinking about using Nutella on bread. They will use butter and bread. <laughs> Nobody's thinking of jam bread, yeah. chocolate bread. Yeah. It's normal bread everybody eats in the kitty. They don't even sell it here. <laughs> so it's in Lagos. <laughs> it's in Lagos but that, that people have... more money, more problems, Yeah, mate. that's what I'm saying. It's because it's people, that's what I'm saying. People in Lagos have ISP because they are seeing it. <laughs> people there with, with 200,000 naira, you can be the biggest piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to live large. Me. You, you, I swear, we want millionaire. You won't be too rich. They'll mm. be like, the guy will kidnap you mm. for having to make you a millionaire. Yes, now. But yeah. it's in Lego. So, like, don't, I don't, the money is good. Yeah. But 
don't let it be what now drives you to sadness and you mm. live your life mm -hmm. that you're never happy. I beg, yeah, I beg. I agree. I agree. Money I definitely because, agree. Because, I mean, cry yeah. with, I can clean my tears yeah. with money too. I mean, I love money, but then yeah. at the end of the day, I also like my peace of mind. There's certain jobs that I walk away from if I know it's not going to give me peace. Yeah. In terms of even the line of work we do, there's jobs, many, people. There are many endorsements I've said no to. Not a lot of money, but I just thought, eh, <laughs> I know this is going to keep me up at night and I, I don't need yeah, that. Yeah, I don't need now, that. Now, talking about energy. cutting people off, because I, I asked you if you know you were in a relationship and yeah. you talked about being in a situation. Yeah. Now this is the last time I did a podcast. On. I was in non. So let's just put that. Out there. Oh, so you're no longer in non. No, no. I mean, yeah, because I'm in situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's the sex like in What's the sex like in your situation? Good now. <laughs> is it good? I'm just asking. Is it, no. Because you know, so many no. people, so people celebrate like mediocre sex. Mom, this is like, the time. Yeah, leave this podcast. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you to all my parents and answers. Um, you guys. Okay, such a let's good start time. at the top about yeah. the situation thing because I'm also curious about dating as a Gen Z. Yeah. Person, I don't know if it's the same. I mean, it's no, I don't now think the same market. I think it's the same actually. I can tell you that dating is ghetto right now. No, but I don't words. think it's ghetto if you followed my rule, boy, guys. I have a perfect rule. <laughs> I know this thing. Okay, share mom, the rule. Mom, Let's hear your rule I know it's this. baje baje. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. if someone is disrespecting you, I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many rules. It depends on the situation. Yeah. But there are ways to play your game. Mm -hmm. It depends on what side you're playing it from. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a side I know how to play it from. Mm -hmm. The side that will make you need me at once. Ooh. Hey, sorry. Before this person is watching this thing and they're and like, let the Jesus. person watch so that they know yeah. that. So, but now that yeah. they know my secret is, they'll be like, oh, this is what you did. Okay, oh. but let's release yeah. half of but yeah. even if they try, you switch it up on exactly, them. Exactly, because Dude, you know that's what you call bad bitch. That's what you so, call, yeah. yeah. If they try me, eh, you out the door. If you exactly. give me on this energy, eh. Yeah. 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 So you know, mm. I say like I you need to first know yourself. Okay. I know that thing is overrated and very cliche, but mm -hmm. to be honest, you need to know yourself. Mm. And also there's experience. Mm. Test what is at the beginning. Is that why you're in a situation? Now, yeah, to because I'm different. young. Like, I've tested waters, then mm. I went into a relationship, and now I'm testing again. Okay. Like, I've, so I does, saw, this, does this person know that you're available? Are you dating no, all the people? No, situationship just... doesn't necessarily mean one person. It means that you may be fucking But is that not what they call blocked. polyamory? No. Uh, please, that's the English version. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, because, because I feel like everybody in Lagos is doing that, but we all just deny it. And because we don't tell each other. Yes. Because when someone was trying to define polyamory, it's seen a couple no, that of people one, like Lagos time. people I'm cheat like, That's now. what we all do all the time here. But everybody's like, situationship oh my is God. Why, you know, you can be jealous that I'm talking to another person. But, there's but we have not said why in a relationship. So you can't come and attack me. Mm. But I feel, I kind of feel devoted to you and you no, know, like you have so my you time. So you yeah, give you give the of a relationship without actually defining what it is you guys are doing. Yes, you're my boyfriend or my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But... I've not. Well, I've not said we're boyfriends or girlfriends. How many? How many people are you dating right now? One. Now. We're not dating. But how many people are you seeing? You are seeing one, but you are seeing one, but but if you catch me talking to another person, you can't say I why are you it. talking. Uh, mm -hmm. Am I dating you? Yeah. Like. Yeah, but don't you think that somebody would get hurt on the long run? And but you too, you want it. Because I've been in, in situations. No, but that's what I'm well. saying. But that other person wants a situation. So if you don't, if you that's know, that's what you're we say in the beginning. Yeah, I'm, let me tell you what would happen to me. Wait, now. wait, wait. I agreed to situation. But he ended up falling in love and wanted more. Uh, you were not ready. Not that I wasn't ready. I just did not trust the fact that, you know, when you're in a situation, let's not lie. Yeah. You are open. You know, say mm -hmm. relationship they make us pretend sometimes. As you go, they try to just the yeah. Um, but situationship, I'm. Mean, let's go there. Do you understand? Let's you go want to there. Do this? Come yeah. on, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and then when the guy now fell in love, my mind was like, "You're ruining such a good time." Ah, ah. Well, about Saturday. Do you understand? <laughs> so I don't like situationship because that's happened to me before, and then I then ended up being the bad person bad. because it almost seemed like I was then cheating. But, and even when they say. You can't be angry. They're always angry. They go for three days. They don't respond to you. You're like, yeah, what is wrong with you? I mean, you? it depends. There's a sprinkle of love in it. Because really? you actually... Yes, you actually like the person. But the only problem is that you fear commitment at that point in time. No. And necessarily, I don't even fear commitment right now. I'm, I don't want to... I want to know what you are. What, And I don't want to find that out when I'm in a relationship with you. And you know, I want to feel like a useless person. Spend... Okay, I'm not saying Loria is you said good for him. Not that, but like mm -hmm. I can't be everyone I'll be like, ah, you're a bad bitch. One yeah, yeah. One yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah. No, mm -hmm. like yeah. I like So, so is this is this situation, is that what you do to see yeah, if you so, want to date yes, the person? So eventually you, know, you guys are going to still end up in a dating relationship. Most likely. But you start with seeing each yes, other, no labels. No, no labels. Why do you think you don't want the labels? Do you think it's is is 
the society we live in. Because sometimes I feel like when you put labels on things, I personally feel like it ruins things sometimes. I agree. I agree. See, it's like you can say you want this thing, but when you see the price tag, you say Jesus. Mm. Because now you've seen a label on it. Mm-hmm. That's how, like, sometimes I feel like that's how it is. You know, you see a label, like, oh man, for me, let it. It gives me headache. Once, mm. like you, <clears throat> and then you now begin to like feel like because it's called the relationship. These are things that people are supposed yes. to do in the relationship. Like and if the person is calling you and you don't want to pick at that point in mm. time, you not be feeling bad that. Ah, but this is my this thing. This is my like. Mm. You yeah, know, but, but when you end up seeing other people, do you feel bad for this other person? No, but I mean, I'm I'm a, in a committed one, situation. Yes. Yeah. Oh my no, god. I mean, <laughs> no, number one, I'm famous. You can't just be doing just ah. Uh-uh. You just be doing uh yeah, you the way you're just outside. Yeah, but you be smart about it. <laughs> no, yeah. Really? And I'm also I like hot cakes, so I can't just be okay. I'm a fine boy now. I yeah. So it's just one person you're faithful to. Mm, but I'm talking to other people. Okay. So the thing about it is that it's also always very fast. If this grows <laughs> if this grows faster, like if you so let me explain. If this person shoots their shot faster, mm-hmm. then you most likely go to this person. If this person shoots their shot faster, because now you're interested in this person. But I know that the last time I said something like this, people are like, it's the fear of commitment. I don't think so. Mm. You don't want to go into have you something. Been, have you been hurt before? Have I been hurt Like, before? have you been heartbroken before? Like, someone break my heart. Mm-hmm. Why? I'm a bad bitch now. <laughs> don't lie. Me. But have you liked one person that showed you one small shaggy like this? I've been in a toxic relationship before. Okay. They, and they... <laughs> If they show you shaggy, you go oh, pick yourself up and, and the worst say, part is that imagine someone showing you shaggy and making you feel like you are the reason for the shaggy manipulation. Until, yes, and until you come so... out, you never actually recognize. What do they call them? They are those people who are I don't even know God. narcissists. Yes, you rubbish, nonsense. Ah. You can call them any name ah. because imagine, imagine someone ah. doing something wrong and they will tell you that oh, it's because of you they did that wrong thing, and you will be like. Ah, Jesus. And then you start feeling bad and crying. And apologize. Oh and apologize. But the this. day you see the light. Yes. Hey. That light. That light. You will never go back. Ooh. And that's why you pray that you see the light. Preach. That, see, that bold step that you take in mm. the name of Jesus. Amen. That will allow you to move your leg Amen. out of this toxic thing. Amen. Once you enter that light. Mm. Oh, Father. Mm. Shut up. Mm. Mm. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> Bella and Sheds. But that will move. <laughs> Boy, I wish we had more time because we would have gotten into all of that. I mean, I feel like what is sad about that is, you know, a lot of people find themselves in those situations and, you know, you're trying to save someone else and no one's coming to save you. And no no matter what anybody says at that time, you know, you just can't get past this craze because they've they've mastered the art of making you feel like, Mm. you know, you're always at fault. And it's such a disgust. Disgusting. This was really interesting, Annie. Thank you for taking out time to chit chat with me. I enjoyed I knew this was was gonna be like We were done. We were done. We are Jesus. They, were, so they, kept, they kept counting down. That's are you serious? Because you have to come back. Wow. No, I'm gonna wow. I'm gonna make sure that you definitely wow. come back for another conversation. Wow. I thought this, I just, this is going to like be like the old day, twenty four hours, twenty four seven. I know, and I wanted to offer you a drink, but then, what what would you like to drink? Um, everything spicy, everything. Expensive. I mean, in terms of do you drink? Do you, I want no to water. Start. I mean. I mean, what I, I mean, what Oh, you don't drink alcohol? No. Oh, I don't drink alcohol, too. Wow, that's I quit cool. this year. And that's that's good. Yeah. My so skin's clearer. Yes. My urine is clearer. What, do yeah. we talk, what's that? Like my pee. Oh, you, you pee. When I pee. You pee. Of oh, my I goodness. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> when I pee. Before, I, I thought it was it's much clearer now. And mm. I just think water is life. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, but I don't... My friends don't drink. Like, drink or... So, uh, have you ever had a... Have you ever tried alcohol? No. No. You've never tasted No, but I would when someone decides oh, I have to, to pay me. I have to change that. I'm going to take you out one night. Yeah, when someone pays me like 20 million euros, I'd Dude, like try. You have to just try to just get drunk one time. No, yes, I would, but you pay me for it. Any? No, because I'll work with a brand and then I'll make a video out of it. Okay, so and I'm, and I'm, I'm hoping that comes through for you. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to come so through. So all the, all the alcoholic brands, we have to get. How can you go through life and you've never gotten drunk before? I, I, well, you've gotten high. On love. No. And orgasm <laughs> and good things and what's this? What you know, Kil- Kil- What puff puff pass? Oh, you need puff puff. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging with Annie and I. I thought this was going to be exactly what it turned yeah. out to be. I'm a super duper fan of what you're doing with and your I brand, love you so much, and Jesus. I love you as well. I think that you're definitely an inspiration to so many people who are even older than you 
who just see this guy who comes into the industry and is like, I don't care what you guys think, but I'm going to be here. I care small shop, please. You do? But just very little. Okay, I'm going to have you back and we can talk about that. I I, I, I don't get that when I look at you. I also want to say that you're such an inspiration. And this is not even that cliche stuff. Like really from... Reading your book, like in uni, I remember, like me wow. and my friends were passing it around because it's not like it was very accessible to us. And like, I mean, it wasn't just about the book; just seeing someone do what they wanted to do at that time when it wasn't common. Yeah, you know, it was just being inspiration and to, you know, like I said, this is a full circle moment. Yeah, I'm back oh, here and you're like, thank you so much. I did it. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh, you see, that's what Talking Moments actually loves to do: bridge the gap. He's Gen Z. I'm a millennial, proud millennial at that. I'm proud of being a millennial because you guys sometimes be acting crazy. I mean, I like you guys, but sometimes it's, like, oof, it's a bit too much. Like, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.